flows awareness the innerness the innermost core or innerness or flowering of the being is witnessing awareness and watchfulness you can call it anything but that will be another name another meaning of witnessing truth alone is pure awareness and when truth begins to blossom through you know this as flowering of consciousness when truth begins to blossom through you know this as the flowering of consciousness as consciousness flowers you are more and more aware just by being aware thoughts starts disappearing there is no need for you to fight any more with thoughts your awareness is enough to destroy them and when mind is empty the temple the inner temple is ready and inside the temple the only god worth placing is your harmony your silence harmony and silence are not separate when there is a harmony silence is there when silence is there harmony is there so you can see silence is the fragrance of harmony so those three words you have to remember relaxation thoughtlessness and silence and if these three words are no more words for you instead they have become your realization experience realization your life will be transformed and it will move in a totally different dimension dimension of blessedness dimension of blissfulness you will attain to the peak of consciousness only very few people are born with awareness those are the people who die full of awareness or who enter the realm of death fully aware if death was conscious then birth will be conscious as well yes there may be certain things which we have to eliminate to remember that that does not take long the death is one side of the coin and birth is the other side of the same coin this is why my so much emphasis is on being aware and alert and live a life of total alertness that's how you begin with alertness as you are your actions your hand is moving you are aware of it then slowly and slowly the life begins to enter into a new dimension when you are aware through life's roots then you will be aware in the final moments when death approaches a conscious death brings a conscious birth as well both are interrelated if birth is conscious your life your living is conscious moment to moment then death will be conscious entering into the realm of death consciously and then the birth will again be conscious and the process continues instead it is a benediction indeed it is a benediction to be born conscious and die as well awareness is the greatest alchemy just go on becoming more and more aware and you will find your life begins to change 
for better in every possible dimension even in the smaller dimensions the smaller things you are aware and then the aggregate of all that awareness becomes a greater awareness it will be a great fulfillment i do not have any choice anymore i am in a choiceless awareness and even to say i am it is erroneous but because of the limitations of the language these words are used instead there is choiceless awareness choiceless awareness is the placenta is the ocean wherein the fish the being floats swims when you are in choiceless awareness then there is no need to be aware choiceless awareness becomes the placenta for you to move around for the ocean for the fish to move swing around and simply aware all you can see awareness is there all around now awareness is just like the heartbeat you can say that you are heartbeat no heartbeat is and because of the heartbeat you are alive because of this awareness you are alive you are pulsating or like my breathing even if i try not to be aware of the breathing it is impossible and then every effort will make me more and more aware awareness is not a quality or characteristic instead it is your entire being when you become aware there is no choice left for you to be otherwise if you are let's take an example master chef then there is no choice for you to be otherwise whatever you will do whatever dish you will prepare the your signature of master chefness will be there so in the same way awareness is like that you have excelled master chef means you have excelled in a particular art of culinary so being aware when it becomes your quality your essential nature whatsoever you do even if you are speaking you are walking you are taking a shower you are aware and the quality of that act will be different even if you are greeting someone you are making love you are talking to children everything will have a different quality like the master chef even if he makes a soup if he makes a bread sandwich it will have a signature it will have a different quality and you cannot fall back into the dark hole because i take the example of master chef very easily because cooking is a balance between heat and patience master chef can never be impatient when cooking even if he is making simple things the balance is there the what quantity of this and that so there the food becomes a harmony food becomes an embodiment of awareness or the quality of being the master chef that means the sun has risen the entire sky is full of light and you live by this light this light that light of awareness is not up in there in the sky but it is a part of your inner sky the inner sky is incandescent is lit you are the pulse of the cosmos 
you are harmony oneness and bliss your words your actions and gestures manifest that quality just as mentioned here if you are a master musician whatsoever note you play whatsoever song you compose musically that will have that will manifest your quality and what is your quality as a musician is your light is your understanding of that your understanding of the music there is so much beauty that love overflows as compassion be aware and let this awareness become a choiceless awareness first you have to begin the journey with awareness then this awareness becomes a choiceless for you as a master musician whatsoever you do it becomes your quality or you can say you are choiceless about it you are choiceless whatsoever you are composing and you are choiceless if you are a master chef enough for now